Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to look at two ways in which you can fix your device stuck in Qualcomm crash or mode. So first one is for those who have an unlocked bootloader and second one for those who don't have an unlocked bootloader. So if you are new to tech and don't know much about it, so I will tell you how you can check whether your device bootloader is unlocked or not. So just turn off your device and turn it on by pressing volume up, volume down and power button all at once. And if you can boot into fast boot mode, there will be a bottom section written device status. And if it's written unlocked, that means the bootloader has been unlocked. And if it's not written unlocked and it's written locked either, that means your bootloader is locked. So if you have an unlocked bootloader, you can go on with the part one and just fix your device completely. And if you don't have an unlocked bootloader, you can follow along the part two of this video and it will definitely fix your device. And if it doesn't, that means you have some hardware issue and you will need to change your motherboard. And for those who have an unlocked bootloader and part one doesn't work for you, you can also go along with the part two of this video and fix your device as well. But those who have an unlocked bootloader, please don't go with the part one of this video as you will just waste your time and energy and you will get no outcome with that because you have a locked bootloader and you can't go with the fast boot roam. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching Snaptech. So let's get started. So this is the first method for those who have had unlocked bootloaders. So your screen will be on this kind of screen if your phone just is stuck on for crash from mode. So first you need to boot into your fast boot mode. And you can do that by pressing volume up, volume down and power button all at once on the screen. So once you hold it, you'll need to wait for some time so that your phone boot into fast boot mode. And once your phone is booted into fast boot mode, you can connect it to your PC via USB cable like I did in this video. And you can see that device state is unlocked. That means my bootloader is unlocked. And go to the link in description below for the part 1 and you will reach to this XDA site. Then you can scroll down and find a link to download the Fastboot Chrome for your Android device. So I will suggest you with the same version I downloaded in this video as that is the best way to just install this Fastboot Chrome on your device. And if you live in India, just like the India version and if you live in anywhere else rather than Europe, so it's like the global version and if you stay in Europe, just like the European version, download the specific file for your country. So I already downloaded the file, so I won't do it again. So I live in India, so I just downloaded the India one and then you need to extract this zip file by using 7-zip or any other unzip software you are using so once you unzip your file just open the folder you have just downloaded and unzip just click on the search icon on top and type in cmd in type fastboot device and if you can see the strings of number along with fastboot written beside it that means your PC has detected your device in fastboot mode and if not just go to a link in the description below and download all the drivers and install it on your PC and after that your PC will definitely detect your device in fastboot mode and once it's done just double click on this flash wall file it will give you a popular that it will erase everything on your device just press Y and press enter it will take some time to flash this fastboot chrome on your device so you need to be patient and sit back and relax until it's done so as you can see the chrome has been flashed on our device and our device is getting restart it all by itself at the end of this flashing process
and as you can see we have booted into our system so i'll just set up my device quickly So as you can see my device is fixed and everything is working really fine. So this is how you can fix the Qualcomm Crash the mode on your device if your bootloader is unlocked. Now let's move on to the part 2 of this video. What to do if your bootloader is locked. And even if it, this method didn't work for you, you can go on along with the second part of this video and just fix your device. So first click on the windows icon and click on start and type in cmd and right click and click on run as administrator and press yes. And once your CMD window is on, just type in the code below and press enter. And once it's done, you need to restart your PC. And once you restart your PC, you can see this test mode on the right bottom corner of your screen. And once it's done, all, all the files, like both the files from the description below and not from anywhere else. Like it's very difficult to get this driver file working. So once it's done, just run this file and press next, next and at the end, finish, okay, install. And once it's installed, it'll show you a pop-up and click on install. And once it's done, click on finish. Then just extract this hotdog b file, which is the code name of our OnePlus 70 using 7 zip or any other unzip software. So I'll just fast forward this step, but it will take some time. So once it's done, just open the extracted folder and just open this MSM tool. And click on yes and once it's open then click on target and select india and once you do that head back to your device press volume up plus power for 10 seconds to force shut down your device if it's on or it's on some screen like qualcomm crash mode and once it's turned on just hold volume up hold down key type together and just connect your device to your pc and not the power key and just click on anum and you will see your device connected at the bottom and just click on start And just don't leave volume up and volume up button till now. And once you can see that green bar, you can just leave both the buttons and keep your device aside. It will take 300 seconds minimum to at least flash this software on your device and make it working. And once flashing process has been done, your phone will directly boot into your system automatically, as you can see. So as it's our first boot, it will take some time. And if your device is rooted or if there is any other customization or custom kernel inside it, this method will just remove everything and will make it like a new. So I'll set up everything fast. And as you can see, I have set up everything. Now I will go to the settings. See, everything is working really fine. We just flashed a firmware which is based on Android 10, Oxygen OS 10. So these are the two possible ways in which you can fix your device stuck in Qualcomm Flash the mode. And there isn't any other way by any other software means you can fix your device after this. And if and none of this method work for you and you have tried multiple times, you can just visit service center. There's probably some fault in your motherboard. You'll need to get it replaced and that's the only solution after this so if you find something else then definitely it's something fishy and there isn't any confirmation by any other youtuber or you're not sure if that method is really working don't go for it don't fall for it and if there will be any other possible way to fix this problem i will definitely update it on my channel so i hope I, you like this video and there was a lot of confusion going on related to this issue and many people who have an unlocked bootloader they were going for the msm tool thing and 
those who don't have an unlocked bootloader they were going for the fast boot rom thing so i hope this video just solved all the confusion and if you want to see more tech related content you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you want notification for that just click on that bell icon besides that and if you enjoyed this video please drop a like it will be very helpful for me and it's completely free and please press that red subscribe button it's really important for me i got some goals for 2022 and got a lot of videos packed up so that you guys will enjoy and get new content almost every day i'm trying to be very consistent and thank you so much for everyone who has been supporting me on this journey so i really appreciate that so i think this is it for this video i'll meet you in the next one snap tech signing out